you know, this team beat us last year, and, you know, we came out here with one purpose, just to win the game. So, you know what I'm saying? Coach Tooth tell us all the time that you can go into battle with a plan, but that plan not going to necessarily always work out. You know, we just have to fight through it, and that's what we did, just fight through it. Well, Denzel Ware had been talking all week about how he wanted payback for last year's loss after Kentucky had taken Southern Miss as a joke last season. And UK made sure that history didn't repeat itself. A win is a win, and an ugly win on the road still counts. For the most part, it was not the prettiest game that Kentucky has ever played. Third and eight in the first quarter, Steven Johnson scrambles to his left, picks up the first down by about half a yard, and on the very next play, Johnson... To C.J. Conrad over the middle. The big tight end rumbles for 59 yards. He's brought down right before the end zone. First and goal, Kentucky. U.K. looking to take the lead, but Benny Snell Jr., very uncharacteristic of him, fumbles the snap, and Southern Miss recovers a wasted opportunity for Kentucky. The Golden Eagles, though, would give it back. Josh Allen getting pressure in the pocket. Causes the fumble, and there's Denzel Ware in on the recovery. Great field position deep in Southern Miss territory. First play of the second quarter. Johnson with the keeper. Eight-yard scramble for the score. It was 7-0 Kentucky after the PAT. It's 7-3 later in the quarter. Johnson to Conrad again. Conrad had three catches for 97 yards. And this touchdown, 14-3 UK at the half. And this is what True Blue fans didn't want to see. Third quarter, Quadra Griggs to Corey Robertson. If that looks familiar, it should. It's the same play they ran last year, 14-10 game. Austin McGinnis, 4-5 in 2016 on field goals between 40 and 50 yards. His first attempt of 2017, good from 41. Gives UK a little breathing room, 17-10. But this was the big play, a minute remaining in the third quarter. Darius West forces the fumble. Denzel Ware scoop and score 24-10 UK as they hold on to win 24-17. And the first one is always a tough one, and Mark Stoops happy to come away with the win. They had a lot of possessions, you know, so we only had 50-some plays. We don't like that, and our time of possession was down for us. And, you know, not being able to run the ball for us was d definitely down, and we got to get some of those things ironed out. But that's what I love about it was it, it was just a hard-fought, tough victory that it was a thing of beauty to me. I know a lot of people are going to have their own opinions, but I loved it. Well, Kentucky's opponent for their home opener next week, Eastern Kentucky playing against Western the first game of the Mike Sanford era. It's the first time these two have gone head-to-head -head since 2008, up 3-0. Mike White up top to the Lafayette product, Lucky Jackson. 66-yard touchdown strike, 10-0 Hilltoppers. In the third quarter, Tim Boyle. Beautiful ball to Ryan Marcouche in the back corner of the end zone. Colonels on the board at 17-7, but WKU wins 31-17. I think that any question of, of what, what type of team we are, um, I think people now in that locker room, if there was any question whether we're a good team or not, I think everybody says, yeah, we're, we're a good football team. No, I think half the team knew that we could compete with Western, but half the team was kind of on the fence and tonight proved that we can compete with a good FBS team. And I think, uh, you know, we're going to head up 25 minutes up the road and compete with uh, Kentucky. Some fighting words there. 21st ranked Georgetown College escaped Faulkner with a thrilling 40-39 victory in overtime in Kentucky State. With a loss at home, the Slippery Rock 42-21, but John L. Smith sees a lot of improvement from his team. You basically have five seniors on this football team, so you have to understand that this is a young crew. And uh, the thing with the young crew is two things. Number one, you're going to get better. You're going to continue to improve. You're going to continue to get better. The bad thing is you're going to make mistakes. So... Uh, We'll have to just fight through the mistakes, but we will get better. High school action, North College Hill out of Cincinnati traveling to face Frankfurt. Old Hammonds going deep down the field for Dewan Davis. 19-0 Frankfurt. Then Hammonds, he's going to bobble the snap, able to recover, hands it off to Davis who does the rest. It's a 25-point lead as the Panthers win easily 47-0. The 750,000 Woodward Stakes, a headliner on the final weekend of racing at Saratoga's summer meet, has attracted a few stars this year, including Gunrunner and Neolithic, as part of the Win and Your In series. And it would be Gunrunner continuing 
his impressive summer opening up a lead six length lead mid stretch neolithic is next but gun runner would win by 10 and a quarter lengths for trainer steve asmussen he won in 147 43 on a fast track we'll be right back <laughs> 